Hi, Kel. Kelly, baby. Kelly, baby. Okay, I saw some. Uh, I saw some cute stuff. I saw some cute stuff that I haven't seen in a while. There's a cute circumstance. Yeah, you're cute, but this is a different. And it's one that we've seen before. Like I said, just hasn't been a thing for a bit of time. <laughs> Here we go. Isn't that nice? Tiger bulbs got planted. All right. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super. Super fantastic episode of the Walk on the Compound webcast. Got a nice gash on the top of my head from my uh, running into running into one of these, one of these things on a pipe much like this. So I was wiring, 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 wiring stuff, wiring stuff, and then it was like moving on to a different thing, and then I I went to like so like let's say that this this gate was open, but then there was wires on like, this pipe right here. So I was like walking through the gate and just like, boom, just smacked my head on one of these. With the wires, I think we're kind of like jutting out a little bit more. Ooh, that did not feel good. <laughs> Hi, sugar pie having the other day and uh one of our one of our volunteers hannah nice lady she was here um and uh she she's like because like uh we were there was a day we were moving munchies so we were like we were just like shoring up some different stuff and and making sure that his enclosure was nice and secure and uh i had already done it and and Made all the swears I was gonna make. Regained my composure and was working. Jessica and Hannah, they got done doing the things that they were doing. They came to link up with us to see if we needed any other assistance. And I was kind of like sitting down and doing some wiring and then Hannah was like standing up over and then like just mentioned like, oh Derek, I'm not sure, do, you have a big gash on your head. I'm not sure if you knew. And I'm like, I am aware. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Yes, I, 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 I was there. I was there when it happened. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. To her credit, that sometimes is a thing where you'll get a cut or a gat or something and then people are like, oh wow, how'd you get that? And then I'll look down and be like, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> huh, I don't know, it's a mystery. Aliens did it. Hey. <laughs> Good girl. We got all of these beer beards. Beer beards. Burp, burp. Burp, 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 burp. Burbs. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> hey, mister. Hey, big guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
There's a kitty cat down here. Hi. Hey, sugar pie. Pretty prin. Pretty prin. Pretty prin pants. Pretty pin. Pretty, pretty prin. Prin pants. Pretty miss prin pants. I'm going to see the back of fire's head. See how the back of fire's head's doing? Doesn't appear to be any holes in it. That's good. There's no brains, brains leaking out the ears. That's good. It's quality uh, tag, back of the tiger head right there. Hey, I was about to move on. I was. Then it looked like you're about to do some more cute stuff. You laid down. She like made hard eye contact with me. Started snuffling. Laid down on the grass, and I'm just like, okay, well, I can't leave just yet. And you can see it looks like looks like some of her winter coat is really starting to kind of fall out. And then you can see her her more pronounced uh, summer coat underneath is starting to kind of show through that's exciting summer fashions summer fashion hi rasa hi hi hello <laughs> hey girls hey girls <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, now that Munchie moved out of the neighborhood, this is uh, just turned into like Old Lady Alley. Old Lady Avenue. There we go. Because, I mean, you know, Fire and Melita are not no spring chickens. Princess is the only one that's... You know, kind of, she's a young kitty, but she lives on Old Lady Avenue. Uh, she's just been reading a lot of, uh, she's big into real estate, and she's like, look, this market's about to go boom. Um, and uh, I want a piece of the pie. Because it's like the first steps towards like gentrification. Once all the old ladies in Old Lady Avenue, I, you know, do the final move out, then, oh boy, you know, property value, oh, it's just going to be, it's going to be a tiger's market. Oh, you, I tell you. Hello. Hi, baby. Oh boy. Hi, VV. And mind you, like, because, like, old lady people might think, oh, we're talking hard candy jitterbug phone okay that's not i'm talking between between retirement and old folks home that level uh you know there's there's a big which that can span a few decades you know so still leads an active lifestyle uh, type of lady, type of gal, you know. Yeah, goes on a yeah goes on a singles cruise every October. Ooh. <laughs> One of them kind of old ladies. <laughs> 
What are you doing? Oh my gosh, you just torpedoed. You torpedoed into the ground. Are you okay? Oh boy. And now she's just having a conniption. Yeah, just another one. She's got the madness. It's something about the birds when they all get together and they start chirping and then it's like a it's a synchronizing wavelength of uh, of sonic madness that infects the brains of these poor animals, these poor cats. That's when you know that their bird song is being downloaded effectively because they start going, they start rolling on the ground. That's them trying to fight it. And I'm like, I ain't going to let you take control of me birds. That's the cats trying to fight the control, the mind control. And whenever they have like a, whenever they're having like a, a, a stronger bout, and they're like, I, I, I need to really, I need to fight it. It's like that Manchurian kind of thing. Oh boy, the series of numbers are going to start going in their heads. Do I need to get, get out of my head, birds? Get out of my head, birds. <laughs> get out of there, birds. Ah, you ain't going to get me. You ain't going to control me. I ain't going to do your bird bidding. I ain't doing your bird bidding. And then she's good. And then she's good for like a little bit, for however long. Sometimes like the effects of like grass rolling lasts a few minutes. Obviously this one didn't last, didn't stick. Sometimes it lasts like hours, days. It's difficult to pin down the exactness of like the science, but all we know is that grass rolling, it does help. It, it's not just bird mind control, but just various forms of mind control. Helps you fight it. Helps you fight it. Keep it at bay. Okay. Coming over here. Since Munch recently moved from that enclosure over to this enclosure, normally it would be showcased on the Thursday. And I'm sure that you want to see him again just to see How's he doing since the last time we checked in? So that's why I'm going to come over here, even though like um, this is not it's normally he's not. He's going to be he's going to be a Tuesday kitty now. That's the thing. Munch is going to be more of a Tuesday kitty, which is weird. Munch. <laughs> Good. He's snuffling earlier when I filmed because I filmed the other webcast just a few hours ago. And if you notice, if you remember, he wasn't exactly all snug. He was like kind of, he was weird. He was like jumping at the fence and like stocky, pouncy and like rubbing. So the, it, there wasn't, okay. I wasn't getting like the biggest friend vibe <laughs> from him. And even though people were like, but he was rubbing on the fence. I'm like, yeah, that, that was, that, it wasn't, I don't know. That was different. That, maybe it was just like, he was getting like, really kind of uh he was getting excited by the concept of you know uh like bones snapping it was just making him just feel just kind of like affectionate and alive <laughs> hi well hello <laughs> are you gonna come over here and say hello <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? What do you think? Ooh. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. This is a good job. Good boy. Good job. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Good job. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. Got the hookers. So we had them. I grabbed them on uh, the other day. 
trying to use them as a possible device to like latch on to uh, parts of the transport cage just to get it unstuck from certain areas and so you're not having to like you know grab your hands around certain spots that the angry snarling tigers in you know big brain hey hi Sid hey Vivi she's a good girl oh there's Diego there's Mr. Diego man Mr. Cutie Patootie Mr. loves him some attention loves him some cuddles I uh, last last week last weekend I I was feeding I was doing feeding littles so I was feeding uh, feeding the bobcats feeding Diego and uh, I, I took it into the their house over there and I had uh, so the multiple plates like stacked on top of each other and the thing is like even when I feed and stuff like that like I, Diego he really is just a little love bug and he wants to just like he wants to hold you like he wants to to rub on your feet and just and and just be an, an affectionate little guy that's just what he does and I had the food and even in the in, in times in the past when I've when I've fed them and I've had food like he would just be affectionate so I wasn't thinking that I'm like oh this is just going to be another one of those kind of moments but I took it in had the food in and he was doing this and he was like circling around and figure eating and stuff like that and I'm like oh hey bud hey bud then uh he actually got up on his back legs puts his peats right here like on my on my hip and I'm like oh oh hello well hi and I, I reach down and I'm like yeah 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 hi 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 how you doing and then immediately and I remember I still have the I got the plates not the plates but the the trays of food over here and immediately he just jumps and just yuck, just <laughs> like there and he, and he latches onto my torso so he's got a, a leg his like one peat right there and then the other peat right there and then his head is like right here and I'm still holding it and I'm just like huh <laughs> like <"Gah." laughs> and he wasn't like and he just he just he's like hello he wasn't being mean then he just sticks his head inside uh inside one of the trays that I was holding grabs a chicken drumstick and then just pulls it out and then he's like thank you he's his mouth is full and he just drops down and then just you know just zooms off and I'm just like you little you little so-and-so, <laughs> you turd bucket. But yeah. Used me as a, I mean, absolutely just like a, a as a tree trunk of sorts, I guess. A scaffolding for his, for his climbing endeavors. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi, little miss. Hey, Zoops. Hey, Mr. Zoops. Hey, Mr. Zoops. There's big guy. There's big guy. Oh, stink face. Oh, stinky face. I suppose. I suppose. It's understandable. We're uh, two, uh, two ponies. That, uh, we're getting the old chop chop treatment. Oh, nice old coat of boomer. Nice old coat of boomer paint. Oh boy. Oh boy.
I hear ya. I hear you, Mr. Tater. Heidi has a thing that she wanted to uh, introduce to the, um, you know, she's like, here's a thing that you could do on your cast webcasting. And I'm like, okay, I'm always down for hearing uh, different kind of concepts or ideas or suggestions. And, uh, <laughs> it's perfect because he's doing that. I, we're talking to Boomer right now. <laughs> so that whenever Slade is maybe getting a little bit of extra, like, emotions, when he's getting a little bit more emotional, uh, oh, he's in his pool now. Oh, boy. Look at him. That he, uh, whenever he's experiencing just a little bit extra emotions, that uh, he might we call those tater peels. Kind of a play on like, oh, like he's having some peel, he's having some feels. He's experiencing some some feels, or you could also like because he's very emotive, so he's peeling off layers of his emotions. So I have some of my peels, some of my tater peels. Or he's experiencing tater peels. Um, I, I, she said that, and I'm like, that's pretty cute. Let's see what the people think. So if uh, if you if you approve of tater peels as a concept, um, maybe throw a turtle down in the comment section below. Turtle emoji. <gasps> Hi. Were you having peels? Were you having peels? Were you doing were you having tater peels? <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Me, 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 Nah. He's perfect. He's perfect. You're perfect. Peels or no peels, it's just it's perfect. Hi. Ooh. <laughs> now this might be an unpopular opinion but I actually uh, oftentimes oftentimes and not maybe not not all there's times where it's like I definitely like them pretty standard but there's oftentimes moments where I uh, prefer mashed potatoes with peels included in them again a lot of times where it's like a good old standard just kind of starchy white mashed tater great but especially if it's like a red potato ooh, like red potato like so like including and not like all the peels but it's like if you if you were to like partial peel each potato to where maybe only like between like one third and one half of the peel is like still left on the potato. And then that's though that's like the average peel amount that you would have per potato that you would use for a batch of mashed potatoes. That I think is that's pretty good. Especially red. Red potato uh peel is pretty Pretty tasty. Some some might call it the shell. The potato shell. Okay. Mika. 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 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, ZZ. Hi, ZZ. Mm -hmm. Are you not able to figure? Are you not able to figure, or you just don't care? Okay. That's cool. You can step. I did not mean to switch it around. Didn't mean to switch the camera around. I was trying to do the zoomy zoomy, and then like, yeah. If you do, if you do like a swipe left or swipe right, just the camera around. I don't know if iPhones do that. Samsung phones do. <laughs> so now we've got this guy, this guy doing his thing. He's doing his thing. What a guy. Black. You've gotten bougie. You've gotten a little bougie. Went from being a tough as nail zoo kitty to like, ooh, he's a little bit, he's a little bit of a hoity-toity kind of sanctuary kitty. Hmm. <laughs> he's like, nope. I am tough. Uh, just let me have a quick nap really quick. I will show you just how tough I am. I'm just going to just hold on. Just let me get some tough guy sleep. It, I don't do beauty sleep. I do tough guy sleep. Hold on. Tough guy sleep. Watch out. I'll show you. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you for watching this episode of the Walk, Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.